righty, ladies and gentlemen, little late, out of date, early afternoon, Survivor Series review. I thought it was a decent wrestling program, folks. Decent program. In the pre-show, Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Damian Priest by disqualification. This wasn't that great there, but it was on the pre-show or whatever. Rick Boogs playing guitar. Damian Priest gets pissed off. He breaks the guitar, hits Nakamura with it or whatever. Loses by disqualification there. In the official pay-per-view matches, they're the voice match of the main card. Becky Lynch defeated Charlotte Flair there. Becky had uh, a new outfit tonight, folks. It was all red. It looked like she was wearing hooker boots of some sort. Almost looked like she was wearing a G-string or something there. Match it at night, folks. I mean, this woman put the work in in this one. I mean, darn good man. Charlotte Flair tried to cheat. Becky uh, revoiced. She grabbed the ropes and cheated there. Decent match. Second match, Team Raw defeated Team SmackDown in the Classic Men's Survivor Series match. Um, Kevin Owens started off by walking out or whatever of the match. At some point, Lashley and McIntyre, it was a double count out. And it was two against two. Seth and Austin Theory versus um, Jeff Hardy and Sheamus. Sheamus gets eliminated, then he toins on his partner Jeff, putting Jeff in miracle mode. Is Jeff going to be the sole survivor? Is Jeff going to pull a big upset win and rejuvenate his career? It looked like that was going to happen, but Set Rollins uh, got, <laughs> got the one, two, three, or whatever. It was a good match, folks. Nowadays, Survivor Series, it's like a big filler or whatever, you know. Big worthless tag team filler there, but it was a, a, a good match or whatever. Speaking of worthless filler, folks, in the third match, the 25-man Battle Royal, Omos won the match. It was okay there, but it was throwaway-ish a little. Their big man eliminates everybody and wins the match there. Just an old wrestling trope! Um, <laughs> It was okay. There was goofy stuff with pizza for whatever reason. Yeah. Very throwaway-ish or whatever. Fort match. Orton and Matt Riddle defeated the Usos. This was a good tag team wrestling match. Better than AEW tag team wrestling. Randy Orton with the the RKO out of nowhere type of finisher. And apparently it's a record for most pay-per-view matches or whatever. So good match for Orton and Riddle. And for the Usos as well or whatever. Fifth match. Team Raw defeated Team SmackDown for the Women's Survivor Series. It was four on one. And Bianca Belair won or whatever. There it was four against one. She was alone. There was goofy stuff with Sasha. I think she left or whatever. And uh, Bianca Belair won. It was okay. They're not as good as the men's match there. 
sixth match in the main event. Roman Reigns defeated Big E. No interference, no Rock, no Brock Lesnar, just a straight up good enough wrestling match. Big spear, I think Big E kicked out of the spear if I remember. Eventually Roman hit another spear, one, two, three there. It was an opportunity to try perhaps to elevate Big E there, but... I'm not the booker, folks, and um, this makes sense as well. Roman's the star. You don't want him to lose against Big E or whatever, you know. In the days of real wrestling, you didn't have Steve Austin lose against Big E, you know. Roman isn't Steve Austin, but he's higher than everybody else right now. There you don't have him lose against Big E, so... I was thinking maybe some type of interference, but if it doesn't happen the way that I fantasy book, I don't get mad, unlike indie fans and smarks and AEW fans. This actually turns out to be better, just a straight up victory for Roman Reigns, Big Spear or whatever. It was a good match there. And then you had the king, baby, Vince McMahon, ladies and gentlemen, shows up. He gets out of the limousine. The people are cheering the wrestlers. <laughs> then he pulls out an egg or whatever, and the, the wrestlers are confused. Then he forces a cheer <laughs> like this. Hey, hey, the wrestlers, they cheer <laughs> for the egg and the... Uh, uh, fuck, I don't remember her name. The blonde girl there. She goes to touch the egg. McMahon, it looks like he goes to slap her hand or whatever. And then he starts walking with the egg. And then he's talking with Roman Reigns. You know, your cousin gave me this egg. Apparently it came from a movie or whatever. Your cousin gave me the egg. It's worth a hundred million dollars. And Roman says, oh, it's the same price as my next contract or whatever. And he walks away. And later on, it's Adam Pierce and Sonia Deville with McMahon. And somebody stole the egg. And McMahon was giving them shit or whatever. And apparently we're going to find out on Raw what happened with the egg or whatever. So, in my opinion, it's okay to have some fun in wrestling. If you can have fun in AEW, then McMahon can have fun with his egg or whatever. He's a bigger star than anybody in AEW times a thousand. So... If McMahon wants to do some goofy egg stuff for fun, I'm not going to hate on it and shit on it. Try to make it look bad like Wrestle Talk there. What the fuck is this? Like, it's so evil. McMahon does a bit of, of, of comedy with the egg or whatever. Who fucking cares? You know, in AEW, they suck each other's eggs off in the ring, and y'all are okay with it, so. I'm okay with McMahon doing whatever the fuck you, it is he's doing with the egg, unless it's very terrible tonight, but yesterday I thought it was a little funny, I guess, there, but. It is what it is, folks. Their Survivor Series was a good show. The women's Survivor Series match, it wasn't the best, but it was okay. Shinsuke wasn't really that good, but it was a pre-show match. Everything delivered, folks. I mean, Becky and Charlotte, the men's, uh, the Battle Royal isn't that good, but it's not meant to be. Like, Orton was okay. Roman was a good match. And Vince delivered with the egg boy. Delivered uh, 
just the chance that you get to see a legend, a king, right there on camera, Vince McMahon, folks, the real wrestling god. So good show. I enjoyed it. Until next time. Peace.